All right, the problem that was discovered by Decidi Zell, what I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm sorry if I'm not, but the problem that was discovered was this. When our player strafes, they constantly move forward. And the reason why I believe this is happening is if you look at the forward direction, this is this is um basically a ray that is showing the direction that we're moving in. And this is something that actually works pretty well for it it works pretty well for like a joystick controls, but not for keyboard controls, I guess. Because it's facing forward, and the moment we press strafe, our player jumps forward because our player starts moving before the direction he's moving in updates. In this video, we're actually going to solve that problem. We're going to have our guy strafing. And regardless of what happens, no matter what, our player will not move forward. But we're also going to be setting it up so that when we're moving down hills, it's readjusting based upon the angle of the hill. So it knows whether or not it's moving upwards and whether it's moving downwards so that it knows whether or not it actually needs to adjust the movement based on the hill. All right, so let's open up the player controller first. And we're going to make a few changes here first. So the first most obvious change is here in locomotion, in running and walking, I'm just going to take inputs normalized, copy that, and bring it all the way down to get inputs, and put it right underneath jumping. And then I'm going to close get inputs. I'm also going to close this one and jump because we're only going to be focusing on locomotion, ground direction, and get inputs. Next we're going to be creating, uh, we're going to actually be changing a few of these booleans. So let's, let's change this to show move direction. And then we're going to go show forward direction and show strafe direction. Let's take show move direction and we'll just copy right in here. And uh, this is going to change here, ground direction, because what we actually need is we need a move direction object. So we'll create, in under our references, under public transform, we'll create a new move direction and let's actually create that object. So in our player, I'm going to turn off forward, turn on forward and strafe, and then we'll open this up and create a new empty. And we'll call this one our move direction, and then we'll drop it into our move direction. And then we'll apply all the overrides. So now let's take our move direction and let's actually start applying it. So and I put move direction into show move direction, so move direction dot forward. And I'm going to change this one to cyan. And then this one is going to be ground direction dot forward. But we're also going to take this ground direction dot forward all the way to 0.5f. And we're going to subtract the first line start from it. So that it's essentially starting from behind the player and going all the way to the front of the player. And we're going to leave this as blue. This is going to be show forward direction. Then I'm going to copy this one. And we're going to change this to show strafe direction. And instead of ground direction dot forward, we'll just go ground direction dot right. And we'll change this color blue to color red. So now what we should see is this. We should see just like a little cross that represents our move direction still updating because we need to change that behavior, but we're going to, yeah, we'll, we'll just change that right now. What we need to do here is instead of ground direction looking at the forward direction, we're going to go move direction looking at the forward direction. And then down here we'll just set ground direction rotation equal to transform rotation. So that way it's always starting from a position where it's facing the same direction as our player. So I'm just going to turn on move direction for this one, just so we can see that sort of updated look at what's going on. All right, so all of a sudden things are things things are behaving kind of differently, but you can see our our move direction changing there, and our ground direction is not changing there. But we need to actually we need to actually change the way our 
our player is moving here. So why don't we do that now? So I'm just going to copy this. We'll put this inside brackets and then I'm going to comment it out because we're just going to create some new stuff. So we'll start with velocity is equal to ground direction dot forward times inputs normalize dot y times forward mult plus ground direction dot right times inputs normalized dot x times and it's so actually let's we need to create that so let's um go up here where it says forward mult we're just going to add strafe mult and this strafe mult is basically going to do the exact same thing that forward mult does where when we're moving down a hill it's going to multiply our movement in a way that increases our speed so that we're moving horizontally at the same speed that we would if we were moving up hills. All right, so now this isn't complete, but this is just the first stage because I, I want to keep this pretty easily readable. So I'm just going to comment this and say applying movement inputs or uh, direction, applying movement direction inputs. And then we'll go velocity times equals current speed. And then we'll just add the last one, velocity plus equals, and then I'm, I'm just going to straight up copy this right here. And then we can get rid of this. So applying current move speed, uh, move speed, and then gravity. Cool. So now we should have something that works. Right, so first of all, we need to set up strafe mult. Let's just make sure that we're doing that. Because otherwise it's zero and then we're just not gonna be able to move. Yeah, let's, let's have a look. So what you should see is if we strafe, we've actually solved that problem of moving forward. And you can, you can see by the sort of movement direction that our player is moving. It's keeping tra track of our movement direction and then also our sort of forward direction as well. But once we move our player up here, so let's just hold shift, move them over here, and then control to get them to move up to that surface. And uh, actually, let's let's take this, and let's bring this down. All right, so let's just demonstrate what problems arise all of a sudden. So we're moving around, right? And then we hit a hill and it just isn't working right. So we need to properly solve this. This is actually pretty simple. Basically, we need to change a couple things here. We actually also need to rename a couple things and then add a few things as well. Let's come up here to where we have our, all of our angles. We'll go direction angle. We have forward angle, and then we're gonna need strafe angle. So now coming back down here, Let's change this forward angle to direction angle. And instead of instead of ground direction, it's going to be move direction. And then we'll take direction angle and we'll copy it and put it in here where forward angle is. Then we'll, I'm going to copy this. And inside here, this is where we're going to apply to our forward angle. So forward angle is basically going to be equal to, uh, I guess we'll go transform.forward and then ground hit.normal. And then I'm just going to get rid of this. We'll just make this a little tighter so we're sort of checking the forward uh, angle to the slope down here, applying the movement multiplier based on the forward angle. Let's go forward. And then in this one, we're just rotating ground direction x. We also need to adjust it so that when we're strafing, we're also doing the exact same thing. So we don't have to worry about any slopes. So here we're gonna go strafe angle is equal to vector three dot angle, ground direction dot right, and then ground hit dot normal minus 90. So this is checking 
strafe angle against the slope. I feel like that sounds better. So we'll just, I'm going to copy this. Checking the, yeah. And then we're going to do our strafe mult, which is, I'm just, I'm just going to copy all this and bring this down here and then just replace forward angle with strafe angle. Uh, strafe. So applying the strafe movement multiplier based on strafe angle. And then the last one is just going to be ground direction dot Euler angles plus equals new vector three. We'll go zero comma zero comma strafe angle. And this should be it. Let's, let's just see if this works. All right. So our guy is moving around. Done. That's it. Excellent. So you can see that it's even adjusting based on our actual movement direction. So it, that little cyan line there that our move direction is, is basically telling the move direction whether it needs to align with the player or whether it needs to align with the ground based upon whether or not we're moving up or down the hill. That's exactly what I wanted. So that's that's great. I'm I'm really happy with that. So we solved the problem with our strafing and on top of that we got it working with the ground direction and I'm just gonna change this so that we can see this a little bit better. So yeah, that's basic that's excellent. I'm I'm extremely happy with the way this is turning out. Yeah, I'm super happy with the way this is turning out. This is perfect. So there is one change that I'm gonna make and this is just uh just a really simple change. I didn't even realize that this inputs normalized wasn't actually being normalized. So let's just do that right now. I, I don't know how, like, I think the only reason I noticed this was just because of the way our player was moving, but yeah. All right, so that's the end of that video. Um, bit of a short one today because I was just solving a simple problem. Some big changes coming soon. I've got a pretty big announcement I'm working on. So stay tuned for that, and uh, it, it'll kind of detail like where the series is going, how I'm going to break it up, and what I'm going to be continuing on after we completely finish the character controller and the camera and all that. Because we only got a little bit left to do, and then we're probably going to move on to other things. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you next time for uh, camera collisions, and then swimming, and then I think we're, we're done the character controller after that. And yeah, thanks for watching. Super trooper, super trooper, super trooper, and he sells soup.